I'm Hugh McDermott, the State Member for Prospect. And I'm here with Walt Secord, the Shadow Minister for Health in the New South Wales Opposition. I've just addressed the New South Wales Parliament with perhaps the saddest speech I've ever had to give. That speech is about the deaths in the maternity ward and paternity ward of the Fairfield Hospital in December 2015. Now we don't know much details of that terrible time because the state government will not release the details. I've had to address the parliament in a private member statement because all day the Liberal National Party coalition government has attempted to block my speech and will refuse to acknowledge a notice of motion which I put up to debate this issue and vote on it. We need to know what, what the details are of the deaths in the paternity ward at Fairfield Hospital. It's a very sad time for our community and we need to know the details. Well, do you have some things to say? Thank you, Hugh, and thank you for standing up for Fairfield and the local community. Sadly, there is a culture of cover-up in the New South Wales health and hospital system. The health system lurches from crisis to crisis, but no one benefits from a cover-up in the health and hospital system. That is why I congratulate Hugh for standing up and trying to get to the bottom of this. Again, a health system that lurches from crisis to crisis. In Bankstown, the tragic baby gassing. At Nepean, breastfeeding mix-up, cremation mix-up at Royal North Shore Hospital, and two unexplained deaths at Fairfield Hospital. Again, the culture of cover-up in this health and hospital system must stop. The details we do know about the deaths is that the deaths occurred because of under-resourcing, meaning the state government hasn't properly resourced and funded our hospital at Fairfield. The saddest thing is, whether it was a baby's death or a mother's death, because of the under-resourcing of the Fairfield Hospital, two families have been majorly impacted, and our government is hiding the facts and the details. Cover-ups help nobody. Cover-ups only protect those who aren't doing their job properly. And we know the doctors and the nurses and the staff at Fairfield Hospital have to work under sometimes terrible conditions of under-resourcing. It's time the government was exposed. It's time they came clean with transparency and tell us what happened in December 2015 at Fairfield Hospital.